Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I want to show you a brand new recording capability that we've added to the Studio Monitor software which you can download for absolutely free at ndi.tv. Let's dive in and take a look. All right, all right, all right. So here I am on my Windows machine. And the first thing that I want to show you is where to download these fabulous and free NDI applications at NDI.tv. Now, this website is a landing page for you to go and discover anything that is NDI. So if you want to learn more about NDI or check out our SDK or visit the NDI store or engage with the NDI community, this is the landing page for that. But uh, I want to focus on specifically NDI tools. So we'll click on this. And this is where you can go to download the newest version of our NDI tools, which is NDI tools 4.0. So all you have to do is click on download and then run the executable file for whichever uh, version of NDI tools you want. And after that, at the very bottom of the screen here, we'll go to our applications and click on NDI tools. And then you're going to have all of the different tools uh, that are part of the uh, NDI tools pack. Uh, so I'm going to focus specifically on NDI Studio Monitor. And let me go ahead and full screen this here. Now NDI Studio Monitor, again, I've shown in previous tutorial videos that this is where you would go to browse your network, like I'm doing here, if I click on the top left, and see what sources are broadcasting over NDI. And then we can view those sources. So for example, let me go to my NC1IO and select my input number eight, and then we'll see the pop and lock Ness monster doing his thing here. Uh-oh, 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 yeah, get it. All right, cool. So now, if you look at the very bottom left corner of the screen of NDI Studio Monitor, there's this little red dot, which means I can record now. Hooray! Cool. So the uh, next thing that we need to do is find out where we're going to record these particular uh, uh, streams to. So we'll click on, again, hamburger top left, and we'll go to settings. And whoops, an application, and then set record path. And then we can record to any folders that you have uh, on your machine. Now, I'm going to select a folder that I've created on my desktop, just called Studio Monitor Recordings. Click OK, all right. And now I'll go back to the bottom left corner and click record. And that's lit up red. And we have a little clock here to show us how long that we have been recording this particular file for. Cool. So now here's what's awesome about this. Not only can I record just this one NDI stream on whatever machine that I have, because again, this is a free application, so I can put it on whatever uh, PC that I have in my uh, network. But I can open up multiple iterations of NDI Studio Monitor and do the same thing. So I have almost unlimited recording capabilities now via NDI. So, uh, so I have another version of NDI Studio Monitor here. And I'll go ahead and browse my network, and let's select that input number five on the IO. All right, cool. And let's do the same thing. I'll click on the settings here, application, set record path, just to show you that I am going to be recording to this exact same folder. Okay, then I can click record here at the bottom. And again, that light will turn red when you're recording, and a clock will start as well. So uh, if you can open up multiple iterations of NDI Studio Monitor and start recording any NDI feed. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop these recordings. And stop that too, All right, close that. And now I'm gonna go to the folder which is on my desktop called Studio Monitor Recordings and let's open that up. And boom, there are our files. So what's cool about this is you'll notice that it also has uh, in the, the title is what that source was that I was recording. So I don't have to guess. It's not just file number one or file number two. This one is coming from my uh, NC1IO input number five, and this one is my input number eight. Now you'll see that next to these uh, MOV files is I also have an identical, well not an identical file, but a similarly named file with a .ndi extension on the back of that. Uh, that is going to be a preview file that we will be uh, using for uh, syncing these files up uh, using NTP or network time protocol, which I will show in a future video. So as you can see, with the new Studio Monitor application, you can record whatever you want that is broadcasting over your NDI network. Now, if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for a free personalized demonstration by yours truly. Also, for more videos like this one, visit our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. 
and be sure to follow us and tag us in your posts on Instagram. We love to see how people are using TriCasters in their productions. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.